guys, it's Trish. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another challenge with Pirate Pretty's Jewelry. This month's challenge is to use amethyst and to make a bracelet. The fun elements are feathers and birds. So you can choose to use that or not. But I've decided I'm going to make a goddess bracelet with a twist for this month's challenge. I may or may not use this amethyst because it's six millimeter and I want to have the eight millimeters as my base, but here's some um, check glass uh, eight millimeter low light rounds that we're gonna be using. And I'm gonna try to put the this check AB crystal, six, uh, six millimeter check AB crystal in the middle and then put the jump rings on either side, but we'll see how that goes. Here are the jump rings, they're eight millimeter because these are eight millimeters. So basically, in essence, with a goddess bracelet, use a six millimeter bead, use a six millimeter jump ring. That's usually the rule of thumb, okay? Eight millimeter, eight millimeter, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. Pretty simple. I also have some jump, or some uh, head pins here, some crimp tubes. These are number two crimp tubes, they're my favorite some crimp covers, a couple charms, and a clasp. And can't forget, last but not least, these tassels. I don't know if I'll be using all of this. This is just what I've pulled out for our for the video. So <clears throat> I'll be right back and we'll get started, guys. Okay, guys, to get started, you're going to need a long piece of uh, bead stringing wire and you're going to have to double it over. This is about a 36-inch piece. You do not need something this long. This was just what was left on the one roll that I'm finishing off. So basically, in essence, what we're going to do, we're going to fold that in half. We're not going to pinch the end of it. We're just going to fold it in half. We're going to take our clasp and we're going to run that up to that end there. Okay. And you can choose to put a jump ring on here and then hook your clasp into the jump ring. Um, but I just do this, it's easier. So we have that. And then what comes next is we're gonna have to get one of these crimp tubes out. So we're basically just putting on the end of our um, goddess bracelet. So just put your two ends together, like so. And then you're gonna wanna put those two pieces of wire up both of them up through that crimp tube. And that's why I say use a number two because they'll fit in there nicely. And again, I'm just keeping it even because it's easier than to pull. And you're just gonna bring it up here and leave a little bit of a loop for your clasp so it can move around a little bit. And we're gonna keep our wire straight here. There we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and crimp that. Okay. Oops. Keep it down there toward the bottom. That's helpful. And, and it likes to slip up. So a lot of times if I can get it in my, my crimps, my crimp pliers like that, I can just slide it down then to where I want it and then give it a, a good crimp. Okay. All right, so I always start out with a bead. So basically, in essence, I'm going to take one of these strands and I'm going to put a bead on, okay? I always like to start out with beads. I don't know why, but I do. And we're going to slide that down. And you can see it's on one and not on the other. And then I'm going to do... How am I going to do this, guys? I want to be able to use this check glass. So this is what I'm thinking. So we put that on, put the 8 millimeter on one strand. This is kind of like you're designing with me here. Then I'm going to put the fire polish over two strands. All right, next to each other like so. And then put the... Put the um, purple, the next bead onto the opposite strand that we put the first one onto, okay? Oh, sorry guys, my motor skills sometimes 
suffer a little bit due to my chronic illness, so apologize for that. Okay, and so we got that on there, you can see. And now this is where we're gonna put some jump rings. Now you can choose to do however many jump rings you want. You know, we can just do one. That's the traditional goddess bracelet where it comes up here. And you see, I've these are open jump rings, so I've kind of already adjusted them so they're closed nicely. But you can certainly get the ones that are already closed. Closed jump rings will work perfect. So you can do one. Personally, I like to do uh, three. It gives it a little bit more of a statement. All right. So I'm just sliding that down, and you can see we have our beads. Normally, the traditional goddess is bead, jump rings, bead, jump rings, bead, jump rings. But like I said, we're going to be trying something different today. And I do kind of like the way that looks. Okay, so the next strand is the opposite one of the one that we used last time for our bead. So I'm going to go in there with another purple. Beautiful check glass. And then take our fire polish, our AB fire polish, and put that over both. Okay. And as you can see, I'm pushing it down just to kind of get a good look at what we got here. See how cool that looks in between those beads? All right. And then on the opposite strand, I'm going to put our other bead. All right. And then on both strands, I'm going to put three jump rings. Okay. And believe me, I love the look of the traditional uh, goddess. I really do. I've made quite a few of them. They do look pretty, but I'm always thinking outside the box, you know. So there we go. There's another set. And as you're going, just keep measuring your bracelet. You know what size you need or whoever you're going to be making it for needs. So we're going to do another purple on a single strand, the opposite single strand. Put the two together, do our fire polish, all right. Then opposite strand of the first purple one, we're gonna do another purple. And you can kind of see this pattern emerging, guys. All right, and we got that. And then we'll do We'll do three jump rings over both. Okay. So that is where we are. I'm going to give myself a measure here. Okay, we're at four inches. So I definitely need bigger than four inches. So we'll keep going with our pattern. And we've got the purple and the fire polish. On both and then the purple on the opposite and then our jump rings I think we're going to call this a goddess bracelet with a twist. <laughs> okay, so put our three on. And again, I'm pushing that down, kind of getting a look. That's coming out really cute, I think, guys. You like that? It's kind of like a, almost looks like a twist, doesn't it? So let's measure again. We're almost at five inches. So it looks like each section is about an inch. So that kind of gives us an idea on how many more we're going to need. I usually wear about a seven or a seven and a quarter bracelet, seven and a half if I want it a little loose. But, um, and again, we're going to start over with our pattern on the opposite one that we did with the other purple on the opposite strand. Whoops, wrong thing. And then 
put our fire, we're going to put our beautiful AB fire polish in the middle of that. I don't know about you guys, but fire polish to me is almost as nice as the high-end crystals. It's just so beautiful. I love using it. I love collecting it. Let me know in the comments if you have a problem with <laughs> collecting fire polish is like I do. So we're just going to put that in through there. There we go. And then our three more jump rings. And that's going over both strands. So basically, in essence, guys, and I'm sure you've got it by now. You're all very sharp. Uh, but it's just single, double, single, double. The purple is single. The fire polish is double. The purple is always single. And then the jump rings are double okay so I'm gonna get the, the next section put on here and then I'll be right back guys okay guys so we got the last section put on here I wanted to I grabbed a few of my traditional goddess bracelets if you haven't seen how to do it or you haven't seen one I wanted to be able to give you an idea on how that looks see there's one between each one of the beads there this one has three between each, between each bead. And this one is also three. So if there's a variety of ways to do it. This is traditional. And then our goddess bracelet with the twist is just that, a little different, right? So what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to finish the end off. Uh, we're going to put the clasp, attach the clasp to this end. And how we're going to do that whoop, is spill our <laughs> crimps all over the place, apparently. There we go. Okay. Is we're going to put one crimp over both wires. And we're going to slide that down. All right. And we're going to take one of the strands and we're going to loop it through our clasp like so. Okay. And then we're going to take that same strand and we're going to run it back down through this crimp now there were a lot of times that to, to to finish these I would put two crimps to be able to you know crimp it cut one wire and then make my loop and cut cut you know put another crimp on cut that wire but I believe I want to say it was either Sarah Oler or Kristen Fagan from Softflex that I saw do this, and I just thought, that's genius. <laughs> so you see you're only using one crimp then, okay? So I'm just gonna pull that in a little bit, and I can crimp that as is. I'm gonna, like I said, I wanna get it kind of pulled where the tension is that I like. See that? I don't know if you can see that, guys, but it's brilliant. So I can't take credit for it, but I will certainly use the technique. And I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to give it a crimp. And then you can cut both of those wires off that are, you know, sit, sticking out there. So, I don't know. Maybe you guys knew about this, but I didn't. So, I'm like, I can't wait to try it. And I've been beating. I mean, I've been making jewelry 15 years. So, there's always something to learn. Okay. So, there is that. Let's see if it fits. Yes, it fits. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little dangle or two. I know I want to put one of these tassels on at the very least. These are the very peri tassels from Dress It Up Buttons. They came out with a gorgeous line of buttons and embellishments that are all periwinkle. So if you get a chance, check that out. Um, but I am destroying this first off. But I know I want to put one of these tassels on at the very least. I don't know if that's going to be enough for me. I'd like to put at least one piece of amethyst, real amethyst on it. So let's just make a small dangle with just a piece of amethyst as well. And I'm just going to do a simple loop on it. Let me find the pliers that I want here. Okay. I love these things. Have you guys tried the tweezer pliers? If not, I highly recommend highly recommend 
if you do wire work or use a lot of head pins or anything like that, it's really handy. So basically I'm just gonna do my bend at the top of my bead and then I'm gonna cut into an L shape to make our simple loop. And then I'm gonna get my round nose pliers and just grab the very tip of that and just roll it back. Now, if you want the loop bigger, excuse me there, it's kind of getting out of control. If you want the loop bigger, you just move it further up your pliers, okay, up your round nose. Okay, so we made our loop and we're just gonna take that and bump it back because we like to have our lollipop centered. That's what I always think it looks like when you get it centered. It looks like a lollipop on a stick versus a candy cane or something like that. So it's as simple as that, guys. And then I'm just going to attach that on. I think I'm going to do it on this side because I left the loop slightly bigger over here. So that'll kind of camouflage that. And I'm just going to hook that in by rocking that back and forth. Make sure it's on. So there's a little piece of amethyst. And I'm going to put this tassel on because, well, just because I can. And it's absolutely, there you are, absolutely adorable. All right. Oh my gosh, guys, that came out so cute. At least I think so. <laughs> but let me know what you think. Of, as always in the comments guys and I'll have a good picture here come up at the end for you and you can check it out and unfortunately these things stick to the magnetic glass so you could certainly move them up by this bead and then it wouldn't be wouldn't stick as much to the glass but it really doesn't bother me but I am just tickled with that with our goddess bracelet with a twist so guys, thanks so much for stopping by and watching through this video. And I really enjoyed making this, guys. It was super fun. And I'll see you in the next one.